Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm from Imagine the Restaurant in Fielding. Um, I'll be showing you how to do one of our dishes. Um, it's called Lamb Three Ways. It's going to involve um, a lamb, lamb loin wrapped in anchovy mousse, um, and there'll be rosemary in there as well. I have a marinated lamb belly, um, deep fried sweetbread, crumb sweetbreads, and textures of broccoli and beetroot. So we're starting off with um, the lamb loin, uh, just giving it a good trim, um, taking off any uh, sinew that we don't want, um, and just slightly shaping it, keeping the trimmings. Um, for the trimmings we can um, caramelise them off with some vegetables and um, add a lamb stock, reduce it, and then we have a lamb jus. Next, we're shaping the um, lamb loin. Um, first and then we're going to sous vide it for one hour at 56 degrees. Once the loin has come out um, then we can start on making the mousse. So in the mousse I've got chicken, egg, cream and seasoning, um, chopped anchovies and a little bit of chopped rosemary. So we're starting off with placing some prosciutto um, on the glad wrap. Um, I'm using these, I'm using prosciutto because it has been cured and it's slightly, got a slightly salty taste, um, which just adds to the rest of the dish. So just placing a thin layer of the mousse um, about two thirds of the way up the prosciutto, trying to keep it as even as possible. Then we need to um, put the lamb loin on. I haven't seasoned the lamb loin purely because the um, seasoning is in the mousse and, and the prosciutto should be salty enough as well. So we need to roll it so it, the mousse is completely covered and that the parma ham isn't going to be sticking into it. Then what we've got to try and do is get it as tight as possible. Trying to move as, remove as much air as possible. Next they roll that in tin foil just to give it a little bit of protection and we'll place that into the to boiling water. Um, this is to cook the thin layer of mousse, but we don't really want to cook the lamb loin anymore. So we'll put that into the water for about five minutes. Once we remove it from the water, then we can um, put it into the sous vide and just get the core temperature of the lamb up. Next on the dish, we have the lamb belly. Um, with the lamb belly, it has been marinated in um, harissa and tapenade um, and it was vac packed so that was for 12 hours. Um, then we sous vide it for another 12 hours. Um, once it came out, it was pressed so it's all nice and firm and we can shape it into any shape you wish. So we're just going to put that on the tray and then we'll place it into the oven to heat through. Um, on the dish also is roasted beetroot, um, which has just been roasted with a little oil, water, salt and pepper um, for about 45 minutes, half an hour to 45 minutes. And then um, once it comes out, the skin's removed and then it's ready for us to deal with. So I'm just going to put some oil on, that's a lemon oil. Um, and a little bit of seasoning and we'll put that in the oven just to come up to temperature. Um, with the, to finish the dish we'll be using a beetroot jus. Um, this has been, this was made by um, juicing beetroots um, with the pulp then we add that um, to oil to infuse into oil, mix the two um, and then it, to the right consistency. Um, the third part of the dish, meat of the dish, is the sweetbread. Uh, this was um, brought up to temperature in the water with bay leaf and garlic. Um, once it boil, <coughs> was boiled, then we removed it and refreshed it, and stopped it cooking, um, peeled the membrane off, and then it was crumbed in a panko crumb, and then deep fried till golden brown. So just removing the um, <clears throat> lamb loin from the sous vide. Just make letting all the juices come out. 
So plating up, we just placed the lamb belly in the centre of the plate. I've uh, cut the medallion of the loin. Um, we have a broccoli puree. We have another texture of broccoli. We have the um, disc from the broccoli stem, um, which has been pickled. Um, we have the sweetbread placed on the end. Then the roasted beetroot goes on. Placing on the beetroot jus. <clears throat> giving the two textures of beetroot, roasted and the jus and finish with micro herbs, I've got micro coriander and then ready for the customer. <laughs>